as we gathered in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way, have your way. As we gaze aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire, have your way. This is your house, your hope. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today, Lord. We welcome you today. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we specially pray for the following intentions. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donor Maria Bambina on her birthday for good health and for the souls of all who died in the family by family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are on September 5th. On September 5th, we specially recall our teachers because today we celebrate Teachers' Day. The teachers have sacrificed their life and they have molded us, they have shaped us. That is why Today we are in this position. As a result, in this Mass, let us recall all the teachers who have shaped us, who have molded us, and let us pray for them and for their families. And for all the teachers, I wish Happy Teachers Day to you all. And secondly, the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of Saint Mother Teresa. Saint Mother Teresa, we all know, she has come to India, stayed in Calcutta, and she has helped the poor. And today, she stood the role model to you and to me. As we meditate on the life of Saint Mother Teresa, let us recall our life. How about my life, how Mother Teresa have lived? So, as we participate in this Holy Eucharist, let us thank the Lord for the, all the teachers in my life and let us thank the Lord for the saintly figure of Mother Teresa. And for the worthy participation of this Holy Eucharist, let us feel sorry for all the sins which we have done intentionally and unintentionally. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall, Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Savior, that as we rejoice in commemorating the Virgin Blessed Saint Mother Teresa, we may be instructed by her loving devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I will betroth you to me forever. First reading, a reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 2, verses 14, 15, and 19 to 20. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her, and there she shall answer as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt, and I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Listen. Listen. O daughter. O daughter. Pay heed and give ear. Pay him and give ear. Listen, O daughter. Pay heed and give ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire you beauty? He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. Your response. Listen, O daughter. Listen, O daughter. Pay heed and give ear. Pay heed and give ear. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, her robes and threads with gold. In fine clothing she is led to the king. Behind her are her maiden companions brought to you. Your response. Listen, O daughter. Listen, O daughter. Pay heed and give ear. Pay heed and give ear. Sing this message loud and clear. <coughs> Hallelujah. Jesus Christ our Lord is near. Hallelujah. Sing this message loud and clear. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ our Lord is near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you. O Lord. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 on. At that time, Jesus told his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, he will separate people from one another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, 
when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink and when did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you and when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you and the king will answer them truly i say to you as you did to the one of the least of these my brothers you did it to me then he will say to those on his left depart from me you cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungry and you gave me no food i was thirsty and you gave me no drink i was a stranger and you did not welcome me naked and you did not clothe me sick and in prison and you did not visit me then they also will answer saying lord when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you then he will answer them saying truly i say to you as you did not do to the one of the least of these you did not do it to me and these will go away into eternal punishment but the righteous into eternal life gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today we meditate on the life of saint mother teresa and what are the things that we have to take home from the life of mother teresa first from today's first reading is taken from the book of hosaya and hosaya was betrothed to gomor but gomor the wife of hosaya is going away from him which means gomor was not faithful to hosaya which is nothing but the people of israel was not faithful to yahweh as we read from the letter of saint paul to the corinth first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 do not commit adultery in the same way exodus chapter 20 verse 4 which is nothing but in the 10 commandments also we see do not commit adultery matthew chapter 5 verse 27 and 28 we read do not commit adultery but i say to you anyone who looks women with lustful eyes commits adultery today's first reading tells us if we do or if we commit sin god is waiting for us to come back and he will forgive our sins my dear brothers and sisters what about our life we are also with human flesh and we commit sin we may not be faithful to god we may not be faithful to my husband we may not be faithful to my wife but god the father is giving us a chance to come back to him to ask repentance he will forgive our sins and today we meditate on the life of mother teresa mother teresa dedicated her life to god she remained as a virgin till the end of the life she dedicated her life to god how about my commitment to my husband how about my commitment to my wife how about my commitment to my god this is the first thing let us take from the life of mother teresa and let us reflect what about my commitment to my spouse and the second thing from 
the first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 5 verse 6 we read your boasting is not good your boasting is not good proverbs 18 12 before his downfall a man's heart is proud because he was proud he was in downfall and also we read from the second book of samuel chapter 22 verse 28 your eyes are on the proud to bring them down so these three verses tells us if we are proud surely we will be in down so mother teresa from the life we can easily observe she has received padma shri award in 1962 and also jawaharlal nehru award in 1969 and bharat ratnam award in 1980 and many more gifts and many more awards that she received but never she was proud she read the gospels she read the bible that is why she never she was never proud she knew that if she was proud she will be destroyed your boasting is not good she realized and she never boasted herself my dear brothers and sisters we do small things and we boast ourselves i have done this i have done that and we keep on saying the same thing but today's liturgy and from the life of mother teresa we have to learn do not boast ourselves and the third thing malice and wickedness when we look at the world around in and around us it is full of malice and wickedness but mother teresa tells be sincere and truth the truth will set you free so you be sincere and be truthful as mother say mother teresa says when you are truthful surely you will find the consequences but do not worry be truthful and also we see in the 10 commandments do not blasphemy or do not bear false witness so mother teresa said when we are truthful surely we will face the consequences do not worry but be truthful now let us examine ourselves am i truthful am i sincere like that of mother teresa and the fourth point that we learn from mother teresa and which is nothing but today's gospel today's in today's gospel jesus says whoever does to the least of my brethren that you have done it to me and mother teresa realized that and she went beyond her limitations and she helped the leprous leprosy patients and she saw jesus in them it is not an easy task to help them to wash their wounds but mother teresa realized and she helped my dear brothers and sisters how about my ex- helping extending my helping hand am i going beyond my limitations and helping them when someone are in need i look what is their caste what is their religion what is their creed and i help but mother teresa when beyond all the limitations and helped am i ready to go beyond my limitations and help the poor as mother teresa helped let us also help the those who are in need that will 
give us the eternal reward and the fifth point and the last point for today's reflection mother teresa when she was sent for the missionary stations she asked her superiors you send us a priest for us because the priest will celebrate mass and he will give us communion and with the power of the holy communion i can go and do my ministry my dear brothers and sisters mother teresa have given the importance to the holy eucharist and the holy communion we are held up with many problems and we are our our time table is heavy scheduled am i giving importance to the holy eucharist and the holy communion am i believing that i will receive the strength in the holy communion as mother teresa realized when we realize that we get strength from the holy communion surely we will come for the holy mass and we will receive the holy communion in a worthy way what about my importance for the holy eucharist and for the holy communion so as for today's reflection these are the five points let us take first am i committed to my spouse like that of mother teresa second am i boasting my deeds third be truthful and sincere fourth helping hand to the needy fifth about the holy eucharist and the communion so let us all close our eyes and let us reflect as we meditate the life of mother teresa mother teresa was dedicated to god and she has sacrificed her life to god and she led a righteous life am i committed my life to my spouse am i committed my life to my god am i faithful to them mother teresa received many awards but she never boasted we do the menial deeds and we boast ourselves boasting ourselves or the proud will make a, will destroy us says the bible so let us ask the lord lord give us the grace not not to boast ourselves and not to be proud and the third about the truth and the sincerity mother teresa was truthful the truth will set you free lord give us the grace to be truthful and not to bear false witness against the others and mother teresa went beyond and she helped the poor those who have done helped to the least of my brethren it has done to me mother teresa realized and she went and she helped the poor am i going out of my limitations and am i helping the poor about the holy eucharist and the holy communion mother teresa realized the power of the holy eucharist and the power of the holy communion in spite of heavy schedule am i going for the sunday mass am i going and participating in the holy eucharist in a worthy way am i receiving holy communion in a worthy manner as we partake in this holy eucharist let us ask the lord and through the intercession of saint mother teresa we may practice all these five points so that we may be like that of saint mother teresa amen all that i am all that i have i lay them down before you lord all my regrets and all my ugly
pain, the joy and the pain of making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice Lord, I offer you my life Lord, I offer you my life Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Saint Mother Teresa, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her gifts as pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favour in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show us support so that Encouraged by so great a cloud of witness, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of your glory through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life 
and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope pola anthony our archbishop and all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles especially saint mother teresa and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever from the life of mother teresa we have learned five things as we recite this our father let us ask our father to give us the grace to practice those five things so that we may be like that of mother teresa in the footsteps of jesus our father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sin of the world happy are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life amen prayer for the spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i deserve to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen hide me now and rise in thunder's roar I will so with you about the storm Father you are king over the floods and I will be still and know you are God I will be still and know you are God when the ocean 
oceans rise in thunderstorm. I will sow with you above the stones. Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still and know you are God. And I will be still and know you are God. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Mother Teresa, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made We will rejoice We will rejoice And be glad in it And be glad in it For this is the day That the Lord has made We will rejoice And be glad in it This is the day This is the day That the Lord has made I'm so glad Jesus set me free, I'm so glad, Jesus set me free, I'm so glad, Jesus set me free, singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus set me free, singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus set me free.